Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to spot a data point in a scatter chart in Excel. Here I have dummy data set of 20 companies with their revenue and profit margin figures. So the first thing is to create a scatter plot using these numbers. So to do that I go to insert and within insert I have this chart category in which I select scatter chart. Once I have this chart in the worksheet, I go to design in chart tools and I go to select data. In the select data source dialog box, I go to add and here I can add a series. I give it a name revenue versus profit margin and in x, va x axis values, I select all the revenue numbers and for y axis, I select all the profit margin numbers. So now I have it here plotted in this chart. Let me delete these grid lines and the title. Now I have this chart but the problem with this chart is that I cannot spot where is company 1 or where is company 2. These are data points and if I hover on these data points this would give me uh, the series name and the value for that point the x-axis value and the y-axis value but this does not tell me the name of the company and if I have to spot it every time then it becomes cumbersome so to get around this I would show you a neat technique where you select a company from a drop-down list and it gets highlighted in this chart so to do that, we first have to create a drop-down list. So I go to data. Here I have data validation. This opens the data validation dialog box. In settings, I go and select list. And as source, I select the name of all these companies, all the 20 companies. And I click OK. Now when I do this, I now have a drop-down list which displays the name of all the data points. Let me highlight it so that I don't lose track of it. Now the second step is to create uh, a row where the data gets pulled for the selected companies. So here in cell B24 I type equal to F3. And as soon as I do this, I have the name of the company which is here in F3, which is the company I select. So if I change this to say company 4, it automatically gets changed here. Now I need to extract the data for the selected company here, the x-axis value and the y-axis value. So to do that, I would use a simple VLOOKUP formula. Uh, my lookup value is the name of the company, which is my selection. Uh, table array I select this entire table F4 to lock it and in column index number since I'm extracting the x-axis value I type 2 and I need an exact match so I select false and here it gives me 2053 which you can see is the revenue number for company 4 similarly I create another VLOOKUP formula with the lookup value as the company name this is again my array and column index number here in this case is 3 and again I can select either I can select false or I can just type 0 and here you can see it has given me 0 0.042 which is 4.2 percent here so now I have this data here and as soon as I make any change in this drop-down list it gets reflected here. Now that I've created a way to extract the x-axis and y-axis value for the selected company I need to plot this in this chart so that whenever I change this from this list it gets updated here and it gets highlighted. So to do that I would select this chart go to select data and you can see there is one series that we added which is revenue versus profit margin I would add another series here let me name this spot the company in x-axis value I select 
the x-axis value of the company that we have selected and for y-axis I choose the y-axis value and I click OK. You can see that uh, there is a red color dot which is different uh, in color than all the rest of these data points indicating that this is the second series in our chart. Now I'll do a bit of formatting here so I right click on that chart uh, on that data point and I select format data series. Here I go to fill and line and I select marker. In the marker options automatic is selected I go to built-in and I select the circular shape in case it's not already selected you can change it and select this one and I increase the size to 11 you can see what suits your needs and you can change the size accordingly in fill while it's automatically filled I go and I select no fill here because I don't I want the data point to get highlighted but not overshadowed by this additional data point in case of border it's automatically selected and uh, if it is not you can select this as a solid line and change the color to this uh, red I'm using red color you can use any color you want in case of width let me increase it a bit so that uh, the highlight is prominent and that is it this is all the formatting that you need to do and your highlighter is, re is ready so now whenever you choose any company here the highlighter goes and encircles that data point so you would instantly know that this is company one while you would not know if you hover your mouse over this data point but this is a neat way to highlight that company similarly if I go to company three it automatically gets highlighted and you can play around with this uh, this is a neat trick to highlight data and also looks very cool on dashboard that is it in this video I hope you found this useful for more such tips and tricks on Excel visit my website www.trumpexcel.com or subscribe to this channel on YouTube thank you and have a nice day